Okay, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all doing? Today we've got our hit class. I hope you've had a beautiful start to your week, regardless of what you've been doing. Uh, today is your hit class. So we've got 30 minutes of a non-stop hit workout consisting of five exercises. We're going to do each exercise back to back, take a minute's rest, then we got two more rounds before changing your exercises. So, I hope everyone's all good and ready and raring to go. And you can hear me clearly and see me clearly. All right, so let's get the show on the road. Let's warm up a little bit before we get started. Just make sure my watch is all set. And if you've got your little smart watch, get it going. It'll be nice to know how many uh, calories you burn during this. And it'll be a good measurement for your progress. So if you've got one, use it. And the next time you're doing a hit class with myself or one of the other trainers on the live, then monitor your calories or your heart rate and try and beat it. So therefore you're always progressing because the only ones that can really, really push yourself is you okay and whoever's with you training so 30 seconds let's warm up and we're just going to do a light march there we go this will be our first exercise actually but let's just keep it light so step side to side get some nice arm movement in here One of the exercises, our first round of exercises will also be uh, incline press up. So feel free to use your sofa if you have one at hand or a dining room chair. Make sure you've got your water with you. Excellent. Nice arm swings up and down. Just mobilize the shoulders a little bit. going just get some nice natural rhythm here and move within a comfortable range squat down as you come up reach up tiptoe keep your balance just try and stretch out now oh I can hear my ankles clicking just a few more of these Excellent. Shake out your legs, heel flicks. So just step side to side. Keep it moving. Just running around this morning, tidying up after all the kids' mess. I haven't been around my kids this much in a very long time. But I'm loving it. I hope you are enjoying family time as well. Okay, so let's take the 30 seconds and we're going to go straight into our first five exercises. First of which will be a march. So similar to what we've done to start off our warm up, but we're going to speed up a little bit, exaggerate the movement, get higher knees, bigger swings. And then we go on to our following exercise. So five seconds, marching. Ready, let's go. Get those knees nice and high. Swing those arms. Really get everything involved. You should get, be able to get a little bit of torso rotation. So you're working your obliques as you're swinging. Remember, we've got three rounds of this. Next exercise, incline press ups. Find your chair or wall and let's get going. All the way down and up. Keep your abs nice and tight. Nice straight or natural curve 
through the spine, squeeze your bum. That will help keep that line through the shoulders, hips, and ankles. And up. Squat reach. We go straight in, squat, and reach up. And down to the ground and reach up. Nice big stretch. Keep your shoulders back, chest up as you come down to your squat. Try and get as deep into your hips as possible. Find a nice natural breathing rhythm for yourself. Jacks. So you can step from side to side. Get stuck in, come on. This is only the first round. And you should be very warm by now. I know I am. Gonna have to crack the window open a little bit more. Excellent, last one is walking planks. So from a standing position, hands down onto the ground, walk all the way, you can drop to your knees if you want, and then come back up, and back down. Try and keep that nice straight line as you walk out into your plank. Don't let your hips dip, like I did in one of the reps. You wanna keep your abs engaged at all times and take a minute rest. Let's push this window open a little bit more. Five exercises, round one, done. Piece of cake for you, I'm sure. We're gonna take it up a notch. Again, like I said, monitor your own intensity and make sure with each one of these you're putting in as much effort as possible, okay? Another 30 seconds. So we're going on to the march again in 15 seconds. My heart rate's at 117. That came from 125. Where was you? Ready? In five, four, three, with the march two. Let's go. Bigger marches this time. You can keep the steps going, or you can introduce a little skip from side to side. You've got 30 seconds of this bad boy. Make it count. Come on. I've got some rhythm here. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep going. And into your incline press ups. Straight away. Chest all the way down. Push away from your chest. If you're feeling bad, feeling bougie, and you want to increase the challenge, then do a full press up from the ground. It's totally up to you. You can also do this from your knees to take some of the load off. Keep going. And up on your feet into squat reach. Let's go. Keep your balance with these. Big push, drive the knees out as you sit down into your hips. Almost there. Jacks, step from side to side, let me get my rhythm. Boom, there we go, and we're away. So you can step with these, or you can skip. Or if you haven't got the rhythm, just step from side. To side, whatever works best for you. Keep going, keep pushing. Whatever you do, keep moving. Walking planks, last one in this series of five. Let's go. Almost at the end of the second round. Turn 
Let me switch around. There we go. Those abs tight. Excellent. All right. Final round coming up. Again, push yourself a little bit more. At the end of this round, we're going to have a 60 second challenge that comes after your final rest after the planks and the challenge will be to hold a plank. Simple as that, okay? Seven seconds. Back to the march. Let's make this vigorous now. Let's work up a sweat. Let's go. So, I'm marching like I'm the first one in Audi doing my central shopping. I'm on a mission. You should be on a mission too, let's go. I'm trying to get everything before everyone else. Push. Be in a rush. But be safe. Swing those arms. Twist that torso. Lift those knees. Next exercise. Incline press ups. Let's go. As many as you can do. Final time you're doing these exercises before switching over. Squeeze everything you can out of the can out of this first round. Let me see some sweaty faces today. Into squat reach after this. Squat reach, let's go. Breathe through the exercises, keep moving. Into Jack's next. Let's go. Straight away. Keep going, keep going. Come on. Who's with me? Wave your hands like you just don't care. We're gonna party like it's 1999. Let's keep it popping. Walking planks. Let's do this. Straight in. Squeeze your tummy. Pull your belly button into your spine and scoop it up to keep your core engaged. And 30 seconds rest. Then we're going into our 60 second challenge. So, don't listen out for the beep. Listen out for me when I say time's up. 15 seconds. Plank of your choice. Three quarter plank, full plank, or half plank. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hold the line. Nice smooth line through your shoulders, hips and ankles. Keep your core engaged the whole way through. Keep holding, we're almost there. You are now halfway through. Keep pushing. Don't stop. If you find that you're failing and your back's giving way, then drop to the knees and keep the line through the shoulders, knees, sorry, shoulders, hips, and knees. But at least you'll be staying in your plank. We're almost there. Less than 10 seconds to go. Come on! Who's still with me? Excellent. One minute rest, grab a sip of water. Let me grab my towel. Wipe some of this sweat off. Five new exercises. Skipping is gonna be our first. 
and then I'll name the rest as we go through. You have another 30 seconds. How is this one for you? Let me know. Uh, yeah, let me know how this is. Whether it's challen too challenging, could be more. Um, and when you're leaving these, this feedback, think about could you have pushed yourself a bit more to make it more challenging as well. Too, compl too complex or too simple? I like to know these things. Love feedback. All right, in five seconds, going into skipping. Swing those arms, hopping on one leg. So keep hopping until I say switch. If you find it difficult to hop, then just alternate between feet. Boom, switch. Almost there. Next exercise is hot hands. So we're going back into the plank. You can do this from the sofa, just like you did your inclined press ups. On the ground, full plank. Pull the hands up, squeeze your back. So this is working your core again, but also engaging your upper back. So as you drive the elbows back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Actively feel that tension. Less than 10 seconds. Remember you can do this from your knees or the chair like I mentioned earlier. Up on your feet, overhead squats. Hold it up, squat down and back up. Keep going. Work through your reps. You're holding up the roof. So push those hands away from the floor. We're almost there. After this, we've got punches. One, two. Punches, one, two. You can split your stance like me or keep a square on. Either way, push through the shoulder and push out those arms. Let's go. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep pushing. There's someone in front of you and you don't want them there. Get them out of your face. Next exercise, ladders. Opposite arm to opposite leg. Step through these, find your rhythm. Reach as high as you can. Lift those knees into your chest. Feel those lower abs working. Reaching as high as you can makes this a good rest. Makes this a good back lat stretch, but also engaging the traps every time you reach. Press. Grab some water. 15 seconds to go. Back to skipping. Woo! Okay, in five, four, three, two, let's go. Hop in on one leg. Remember, you can alternate from left to right. If you're finding spinning the arms a little bit difficult, that's fine. Just keep your arms in, fist to chin. Switch. Excellent. Back into hot hands. Let's go down the ground. This is the second out of three rounds of your second set of exercises. Let's keep going. Show me what you're made of. Less than 10 seconds to go. Overhead squats next. Up on your feet. Push the sky away from you. Sit into your hips. Keep the chest up. Only go as far as you can before you start leaning forward. You don't want to lean forward in your squat. 
You want to come straight down, keep your shoulders up, chest up. Squeeze your upper back muscles together. Excellent. Punches, straight in. Push, 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 push. Give it everything that you got, come on. We're going into ladders, last one. Then we get a rest again. Really trying with the punches there. That was dead quiet. Just focusing on my breath. But that's good though, shows I'm working hard with you. Let's keep going. I've picked up my pace a bit. Let's see if you can do yours. Pick it up, let's go. Rest. Boom. One more round. After this round, or should I say, at the end of this round, just like the first set of exercises, you have a 60 second challenge. You got just over 10 seconds here. Sorry, I tell a lie. Another 30 seconds, it's the end of the round. Forgive me. So, skipping, hot hands, overhead squats, punches, then your ladders, your final. Um, challenge is going to be a squat hold or an ISO squat. 60 seconds of that. And you, my pedigree chums, are going to give it everything that you got. Right, last round in five seconds. Two skipping. Three, two, one. Let's go. Skip from side to side. Let's take it up a notch. If you found the previous variations difficult or challenging, stick with them. If you can, get your knees a bit higher. Skip a bit more vigor vigorously, should I say. Mincing my words now, I'm tired. Let's go. Almost there, hot hands on the ground. Keep pushing through these. Next are your overhead squats. Try and keep that nice, smooth line. Abs tight. Overhead squats, let's go. Push, push, push. Stretch out those arms. Just keep that heart rate up. Next exercise, punches. Let's go. Back into your one-two combo. Punch as hard as you can. Pick up the face, go. Pick up the pace. Go as fast as you can, let's go. Almost there. Coming up, we have ladders. Let's go, ladders. Final time. You look looking good. Keep it up, keep it up. Well done to everyone who's sticking it out with me. More than halfway. Yeah. 30 seconds, take the rest. Then we got a 60 second squat challenge. Fifteen seconds to go. Woo! 
How are you not feeling? I hope everyone's energized. We had some beautiful weather. So if you've got gardens, use them. Let's go. Sit down in your squat. Hold this position. Keep your chest up, shoulders back. You wanna sit into your hips. Hold your squat. Wherever your squat may be, it could be anywhere up here, as long as you're challenging yourself and you're also keeping your form. Let's push, we're halfway. God, I feel like the heating's on in the house, but it's just me. Oh, my heart rate was at 130, it's gone down to 120. Where was everyone else's heart rate? What calories are you on? I'm on 255 calories. Almost there in two, one, come up. Nice. Total calories. Just under 300. Excellent, that concludes our 30 minute hit session. Hope you lot enjoyed. Before we leave, let us just do a little bit of stretching and loosening up the muscles. So just shake out the legs. Let's just start there. Shake out the legs. Clasp hands together, push away from the chest. We'll hold this for 30 seconds. So you're actively pushing away from your chest, getting a nice big stretch through your upper back. Come down and up. Big stretch overhead. And release. Hands just on the small of your back, top of your bum. Drop the shoulders and squeeze the elbows together. Squeeze as hard as you can. Get a nice big stretch through the shoulders and front of the chest. If you are sticking out with me, stretching is just as important as the main bulk of your workout. You spend all this time tightening up the muscles. They need to be loosened up and stretched out. So please take your stretching just as serious as you would do any hip class. Roll out the shoulders. Grab some support if you need it. You can sit on the sofa or a chair for this and just extend the front leg. Lean forward, keep your back nice and straight. You should feel this stretch through the back of your thigh. Switch. Keep holding. Relax. Shake out the legs. Grab above your ankle, pull your heel into your bum. I'm gonna use the windowsill while I turn off this timer. And here we're targeting front of your thighs. I'm just using the windowsill for some support. You can do this laying down or seated. Change leg. Just keep holding a little longer. 10 seconds. And relax. Okay, it's homeschooling time for my kids, so I'm going to be off. Thank you all for staying. Uh, again, look forward to hearing from you, and I'll see you tomorrow, I believe, at 12 for some PE style circuits. Until then, my name is Nigel. Stay safe, stay happy. Peace. <laughs>